Who's next? Matt Lockwood. Oh, I love Matt. Yeah. Are you guys ready for more? Let's hear some noise, guys. Big dick. Energy. Uh, no, dude, you know, him and I, you know, we've done the road together. Where are you going? Okay. <laughs> that other guy's cute, so I don't know, man. Uh, but this guy, you know, he, you know, he reminds me of me, you know, a lot of us, you know, we worked here. Man, you worked here for how long? Six years. Yeah, I worked here for five. And, look, I'm not I'm just saying. and then he became a regular and it's really difficult to do and he did it and um, you should give a really deep round of applause for that You know what I was thinking about today? Um, how much fun it would be to be friends with OJ. <laughs> right? Because he has friends, he's on social media and shit. I just wanna, I would invite him over every night and be like, hey buddy, truth or dare? Because <laughs> he'd always like, dare, 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 dare. I'd be like, all right, I dare you to pick truth, motherfucker. You know what Gabby's really good at is uh, fuck, Mary kill. <laughs> Usually you do it with three different people, you can do it all with one. That's, <laughs> That's talent, bro. That's a talented man. Whatever. Thank you guys for having me. I'm Matt. Um, someone told me something the other day that got me fucked up. They said that I look like I get my foot stuck in a lot of buckets. <laughs> okay, God damn it. It's always my dream to say that to a crowd and they look at me and they go, Oh, I don't see that at all. But you guys, <laughs> you laugh. And it does hurt, it hurts my feelings, a lot. Because people always assume that I'm dumb, um, you know, because I look, look like this. But I'm not, I am smart, I have good ideas. I'm, I'm one of the smartest people I've ever met, but nobody ever <laughs> believes me when I say that, man. I do like my brain, the worst thing about my brain is I have these things called intrusive thoughts. And if you don't know what that is, it's any situation you're in, your brain will tell you to do the worst possible things in that situation. Like, if you guys knew what my brain was trying to tell me to tell you, I would be arrested tonight. <laughs> the worst part, though, I'm, I'm trying to buy a gun. That's where I'm at in life. <laughs> and, and the thing about that is, the only time in my life I've ever held a gun was when I was in high school. And I was in the woods with my friends. We were all taking turns shooting it. And the whole time I was holding the gun, my brain was going, you should kill your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck dog, I don't think a gun is for me, that's crazy. But it's also like 10 years ago, I could try again, we'll see what happens. I should've just became a cop, right? That's what I should've done. Shoot who you want, get a little paid vacation, that sounds like a good gig. I do miss cops, man, that was my favorite show as a boy, was cops. And then fucking cancel culture came and took it away. What am I supposed to watch? There's no new episodes, it's rude. That show, the show Cops to me feels like white people's Cosby show, if you think about it. Right? When you're young, you watch it, you're like, oh, these are obviously the good guys. These are the heroes. And then... <laughs> you grow up, you read the news. Turns out, they've been, turns out they've been up to some bad shit. So you just gotta separate the art from the artist if you want to enjoy. <laughs> Uh, I like transport. Anybody do that? Transport? <laughs> Y'all are missing out, man. I don't know what it is about those women, but they just seem smarter, you know? <laughs> I like them. They're like a little bit more emotionally stable, you know? I'm like, when I watch, I can tell they're better drivers. That's why I like them. I think that's why I like it. <laughs> Um, damn, I am in therapy. Um, I like therapy a lot. Lately, me and my therapist, we've been talking about uh, suicide. He, uh, he says it's time. He thinks I'm ready. <laughs> it's nice to have someone believe in you, you know? 
No, we don't talk about suicide because unfortunately it's like it's something that's affected my life. Uh, people close to me have done it. A lot of my heroes <laughs> have done it, which is kind of a weird place to be. Um, one recently, I'm sure you guys read in the news, his name was Jeffrey Epstein, killed himself. <laughs> Big hero of mine, so I was really sad to see him go. He's my old travel buddy, so I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> No, that's obviously a joke. He didn't kill himself. I was more, uh... I was more talking about guys like Anthony Bourdain was a big hero of mine. Robin Williams was a big hero of mine. Yeah. Yeah, give up for those dead guys that killed themselves. The one that hit me the hardest, though, was, uh, his, his name was Chester Bennington. And if you don't know who he was, he was the lead singer of Linkin Park. And... Chill. Did you just fucking come when I said Linkin Park? <laughs> Um, Linkin Park is my, my favorite band since I was a little boy. You know, they helped me through a lot of dark times. So I was very devastated when he committed suicide a couple years ago. Like, devastated. One of the saddest days I can remember, you know. But it also was, like, a little bit funny when people acted surprised by it. Right? Like, did you listen to his music? <laughs> this man was, like, crawling in my skin. These wounds, they will not heal. And we were like, how could this have happened? <laughs> He literally has a song where he yells, put me out of my misery, 17 times. Yeah, if only he had some way he could have communicated to us how he was feeling, you know? It's just not surprising, is my point. Like, you know who I'd be surprised if they killed themselves? You guys know Jack Johnson? You know him? He sings songs about banana pancakes. If that guy killed himself, I'd be like, this doesn't make any sense. But the unhealed wounds guy, that checks out, you know? <laughs> R.I.P. dog. You're a big Lincoln Park fan, yeah? Alright. Is that your man? That's your man? How tall is he? I'm just curious. Six feet? No, no, we ain't. <laughs> what are you, 5'11"? I'm three. And he's six feet? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> that's very nice of you to say, though. That's a, that's a good woman. You should keep her. <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't take her, you should keep her. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to me. She held up a ring. Like, that scares me. I don't know why I'm doing this, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know how hard it is to meet women who love Lincoln Park in the wild? I feel like we would really connect. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Damn. I am trying to date. Uh, it sucks. I, uh, I've been hanging out with this girl, and I'm, I'm like trying to figure out if I like her, right? Because her hobby, her hobby, the one thing she likes to do the most, all and every day, is she loves watching murder mystery documentaries. Her favorite thing in the world is to watch women die. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like, I'll come home from work and there'll be real pictures of real dead women on her TV. And she's like curled up and smiling at it. I'm like, you're insane. I think it's ruining her brain a little bit because a couple weeks ago, we went camping and she didn't enjoy the trip at all. Because the whole time she was paranoid, looking in bushes and behind trees for a killer. I was like, dog, if you paid any attention to those shows, you know that it would be me that would kill you, right? <laughs> what the fuck are you looking for? Now once there's a mess of random guy from the woods, it's the husband, it's the boyfriend, it's the lover. Look inside the tent. <laughs> I had a conversation with her too where I was like, this is probably bad for your mental health to just watch this over and over again. It's probably why you feel sad. You just watch these women get slaughtered day after day. You know, she said, she goes, no, this teaches me to know what to look out for in the real world. <laughs> I was like, no, it doesn't. 100% of the women we watch are dead. You understand? You're taking the wrong notes, dog. You're watching the wrong game film. That's a 0% success rate. You know who's learning from that? Me. <laughs> it's her birthday in a couple weeks, and I, I think I'm gonna kill her. Like, I don't know what else. You guys, I don't know what else to get her. You should see the look in her eye when she watches these shows, man. That's literally all she talks about. I just want her to be happy. <laughs> Damn, I'm not getting her a ring. Um, 
I did. Uh, I did think dating would be easier. Now I, I recently lost a bunch of weight. Um, believe it or not, this is the, the best I've ever looked. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's always funny when people clap for that because it's 100 percent my fault that I was a big fat guy. But thank you for the support. <laughs> I do appreciate that. I'll tell you guys a story. The worst thing that ever happened to me as a big guy was when I was in high school. Um, for a couple years in high school, I was gay. I was in the musical. And <laughs> listen, I tried to play football and it hurts. I was like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go <laughs> sing the band, bro. So my senior year, we did Beauty and the Beast. And I was cast as the Beast. And as you guys know, at the end of the play, there's a scene where the Beast magically turns into a handsome prince. My school got a whole different guy. <laughs> to play the handsome prince. You understand what that does to a kid's self-esteem, dog? Remember, this is a play with singing forks and knives. And they were like, it just wouldn't be believable if you were. <laughs> I had to sing and dance, learn all the lines, do all the work, perform in front of hundreds of people. And then right before I got to kiss Belle, I had to run off stage so that a hotter 15-year-old boy could take my place. You want to know the worst part about it? They didn't make me wear a mask. You understand? They drew whiskers on my face. And we're like, oh, the monster. Here I am. You guys are so fun. Thank you so much.